Hey everyone, welcome to the Wargaming Power. I'm David and today I'm doing a bit of an impromptu video. Originally I was going to integrate this into another video, which I still will do, but um, it was so generous I felt it deserved a video all of its own. So I'm currently planning to do a video on our bird's favourite chewable toys, because a lot of people ask about them, and due to this I approached a couple of companies to get some samples and maybe get some support to do this video. So I was going to rank all our bird's favourite toys and see which ones are their favourites. Their current favourite is something called a West Coca Bob. It is amazing. So I approached Westco and they very quite surprisingly and massively kindly sent me this massive box of bits and pieces. So I thought I'd do a video just on all the bits and pieces they sent us so you can see the sort of um, products they do and what our birds love destroying because West Coca Bobs are our birds' favourite toy. There's no lie, no sponsorship involved in that. They absolutely love West Coca Bobs. So this isn't just a UK or American based toy, this is something you can get worldwide, there's lots of retailers that do it. Um, I suggest doing a Google search to find out uh, which local supplier has it. And it's due to this that one of the reasons we really like it, because getting Planet Pleasures toys in the UK is quite difficult, they're another favourite of our uh, birds. However, Westco do supply here, so it's awesome to be able to actually get a genuinely sort of natural, chewable, shreddable toy that our birds can get involved in. So you may be asking yourself, why are shreddable and chewable toys so important? That's kind of an obvious one. Shreddable and chewable toys are the absolute best for parrots. There's lots of toys that are made out of hardwood and they're just almost indestructible. Plastic, we don't really like either. Because the best toys for parrots are ones they can shred, ones they can destroy. And these guys fit the bill amazingly because they are eminently shreddable for big beaks and small beaks. And they just really, really enjoy destroying them. The other sort of thing we like about these sort of toys, not necessarily unique to Westco, but all sorts of shreddable chewable toys, they're biodegradable, they're easily chewable, normally made from yucca wood and all sorts of other soft materials, kebab materials, and it just, it's just so easy for them to destroy it, and it's not really damaging the environment like loads and loads of plastic, and I think that's a really cool feature too. So now I've talked about how grateful we are and sort of the benefits of having chewable toys i thought i'd get on with unboxing them so you can see the sort of uh, products that wesco do and i'll sort of highlight any of our flocks favorites out of them as well so just wanted to show you just how much is in this box and how generous wesco were to us um it's just amazing and our birds are going to love destroying all of this so what i'll do is i'll pop the box on the floor and i'll start going through them to see what sort of bits and pieces we have in there so I thought I'd start with this. This is a carnival um, sort of swinging perch and you've got these lovely kebab materials on the sides and then you've got this sort of like slightly harder wood at the bottom which is also chewable I might add. And what I like about this one especially, this is one, isn't one we've tried before so it's awesome, is the fact the bird can sit on the perch, it can chew everything and swing around in it. I think it's an awesome idea. The next up we have a mini and a coloured mini kebabs. And as I said before, this is all made of yucca and it's just eminently chewable by all sorts. And again, these are ones we've actually bought a few times before because they're kind of perfect for our flock. Uh, they don't last very long. What I might do is um, add some clips at the end so you can see just how quickly they destroy them, which is also a good thing. You want your toys to be destroyed. So if a toy gets destroyed quick, it means your bird likes it and it's good. If it lasts for ages, that's not so good. This next one is the Ole. I think I like the name of that. Um, this is one we've actually bought before as well. This is one we often give to Pickles because she, she really enjoys it. She like just absolutely shreds it. What you can do as well, I don't know if you can just see, my new camera's quite cool, but I don't know if it's that cool, is there's loads of little holes in there and you can stuff little treats. We often stuff um, little bits of sunflower seed in there and that can sort of encourage natural foraging behavior, which I think is also a very cool feature of this particular toy. So the next two I'm gonna hold up are the original, again one which is a staple for our birds, and the Especial. The Especial has different colours and different sort of shapes. It's got some of the harder sides as well, so it might take a bit longer to chew through. Again, this is kind of a staple. If you're going to try a Westco product, I'll start with one of these or the minis, because you can see how your bird likes it. Um, generally, with a little, even a tiny bit of training, they are going to like it because it is so easily shreddable. Our next two are the Fiesta and the Mucho Grande. I really like the theming as well, the sort of um, Spanish language theming, I think it's really cool. We haven't tried these with our birds yet, and what I'm going to probably try and do is I'm going to try and film some clips of them trying them for the um, overall comparison of shreddable toys video, which I plan to do. But these look pretty cool. Again, it looks like you can stuff treats in them, which is one of my favorite features of this sort of material. It just makes the foraging a lot more fun for the bird and it sort of makes it easier if they're a bit hesitant about it. 
because they'll try it, get a treat out, and then next thing you know, they're chewing it to bit. So my next product is the Chiquito. This is actually something you may have seen in my Konya cage setup video. We have popped it in there, but I haven't filmed any clips yet, so I may try and get some clips for this video over that. But again, this is basically the same as the Mini, but you have different colors and you have sort of different strands. And this is quite cool if you've got a couple of birds because then they're less likely to fight over it. Again, same lovely chewable material, same easy sort of foraging activity. Next up, we've got the Ole Junior, and I actually forgot to include this. I was going to compare them to the Grande. Let's find that there. So there's the Grande, there's the Junior. They are quite different in size. So if you've got a smaller bird, this one may be a little bit less more, a little bit less intimidating, and maybe something good to start off with. I imagine this would be very good for a budge, anything up from a budgie to a cockatiel. A uh, bigger bird may not like it as much, but then you've got the Grande version if you want that. This next product, we've kind of bought an obscene amount of. Um, we go through them very quickly. We've also bought a load for a project, which secret project, so you can find out about that. But we absolutely love these Yucca Parrot Chips. So if you're into homemade toys, this is where you want to be. Even if you can't be bothered with that, which sometimes we can't, we, you can literally break these in half or just use the chips, put them in your bird's cage, even time to a bit of string and they'll just shred them. Uh, Pickles just goes through these, through these like it's crazy. The boys, they prefer it hanging on a string, they're not as interested, but Pickles and the Conyers, they just destroy these. Oh, they're so good. Last two things, I'm just gonna hold up individually. We've got, um, the Cozy Key Wood Chew Play Nest. Now, the good thing about this is we're a little bit concerned when we heard the word nest in it, but if you look at it, it's just a front section there they can chew through and enjoy. You've got the lovely sort of yucca material. It's a little bit harder on different sides. So in some ways, especially for a budgie, they may start chewing in there and actually making their own nest. And while we're sort of a bit more cautious about sort of nesting behaviors, the fact they're chewing it out, and once they've chewed it, you can sort of produce it as a different sort of foraging toy is fine by us. This next toy is called a Bunny Blast. This is something we've not tried before, and we're quite interested in it because it's, it just looks very interesting. And even though it says Bunny, this would be perfectly safe for parrots because same sort of materials. I don't know if you, some of you guys ever go into the pet stores and you go down like the um, rodent aisle and you find a lot of toys there that you prefer to the bird ones. This is uh, falls into that category. So um, you've got chewable on either side. You've got a nice little hole so you can tighten a string. But I think this would be great for a larger parrot, personally. We're gonna try it with ours, obviously. You've got the same lovely sort of foraging holes there, and it's chewable either side, but I can just imagine like a big parrot taking this to pieces. And I just think it's really, really cool. What if so adventurous? I wanted to say a massive thank you to Wesco. When I approached you guys, I had no idea you'd be so generous sending these bits, which is what made me feel I really wanted to do this video. Because as I said, there's no word of a lie that our parrots genuinely love these toys and they, and I, I just can't recommend them enough. So thank you very much for watching guys. If you have any sort of tips or if you've tried these guys, please let me know. In the meantime, thanks very much for watching. Take care and have a great day.